Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this massive fuse that I just found at my local ReStore. In case you don't know what a ReStore is, it's a Habitat for Humanity store. People donate goods to raise money to help people that are less fortunate. Now the fuse you see right here is a monster. It comes in right around 22 centimeters or just over eight and a half inches long. It's a blade type fuse, and this one is rated at 400 amps. And you can see over here, 400. And you're not going to believe what I paid for this fuse. I'm going to show you in a minute. The blades are very thick, coming in right around a quarter of an inch or just over six millimeters. That is solid copper. The reason why I purchased this fuse was because not only the ridiculous price, which you're going to see in a minute, but because I wanted to open it up and take a look at the inside to see the fuse element in the center. Keep rotating this way. Is that ridiculous? Two bucks. I found this inside of a bin. It was sitting there for at least a year and a half because it was sitting for such a long period of time. I got it for half off, so one buck. To open this up, I'm going to remove these hex bolts. There's four of them, two here, two on the opposite side, and they're quarter inch. Inside fuses is typically sand, so I'm going to be placing this inside of a bowl first. All right, I have this plate to put it in. What I'm interested in is what the fuse element looks like in the center, how it's set up. We're going to find out momentarily. This looks like it's maybe a fiberglass tube. Okay. So now the ends Coming off crooked. Let me work on this a little better off camera. Come back, then we'll take a look at the inside. Okay guys, it wasn't easy, but the caps finally came off. I hit them with a hammer, just kept pounding on them, twisting it around, hitting it, and it finally popped off each end. The tube appears to be Bakelite, not fiberglass. And inside, you can see, is all this white powder, as well as this piece of material right here. The white powder, I can't tell if it's a silica sand, a finely powdered silica sand, or maybe silica sand mixed with a clay. But I do know it's used to quench any arc inside the fuse when the fuse element does blow. It gets the circuit to open up very quickly without any arcing, or very little. I did have a mask on when I took this apart. Do not want to breathe any of this dust. Let me get rid of all this powder, get rid of these caps, and we're going to take a look inside the tube. Now you can see there's a metal strip right here. It appears to be steel driven directly through that blade, and that keeps it centered on that tube. Same for this side here. That steel, there's a little bit of rust on it. You have to bend this just a little bit to slide everything out of the tube. Okay, both sides are bent. It should go through. And right there is the fuse element. It's actually doubled. The reason why it's designed that way with the two strips instead of one solid piece is to prevent arcing or greatly reduce the chances of it when the fuse blows. So you have the space in between, enough current flows through the strip, a certain alloy. What's going to happen? One of these sides will pop first or open up first. And once that happens, you're going to have the full current going through the opposite side. And that's very quickly going to open. So this side will melt and pop open. You have a nice open area in the middle. And then the massive current that's going to be flowing through the smaller area is going to open this very quickly 
and then all this white powder material is going to quench the arc. So very simple the way it's designed. And like I said, I've never looked at the inside of one of these before. Let me see how thick that is. Looks like about one and a half millimeters thick. 1.6 millimeters, so I wasn't too far off. Now it looks like over here, where the fusible section that's going to melt, this was riveted and possibly brazed. Let me see something here. Yeah, it looks like it, yep. So they riveted this section to the thick copper and then they brazed it as well. So there's very little chance of having a heat build up at the connection point. It's all going to be in this area right here. In case you're wondering, the fuse element in the center here appears to be a tin lead alloy. It has a very strange sound. And you can only bend it back and forth a few times before it snaps. And if you look right over here, you're going to see it's very grainy, the alloy, resembling cast iron when it breaks. And guys, that is it. If you ever see one of these blade fuses in the future, you're going to know exactly what's inside. Thanks for watching.